In the beginning, In the beginning we were not a very likely pair. But I guess you never know. In the beginning, In the beginning there was not one point of view we shared. And that's not so long ago. What's happening? Sister Agnes, where have you been? I've been worried sick. I'm sorry, Lily, and I was helping one of my families. You know the Shields? Nine kids, father doesn't work. Nine kids? Sounds to me like he works fine. <laughs> yeah, well, I found him a place to live, so I helped him move in. Which explains why you show up looking like something left on the porch for the Salvation Army. <laughs> Lily and the Shields needed me. Besides, I knew they'd keep us cool in our heels for a while. Father Cleary hates me. Now, who told you that? He did. <laughs> well, not in so many words. I mean, he just didn't come right out and say, Sister Agnes, I hate you. Well, what did he say? He called me Sister Mary Jackass. <laughs> oh, come on now, Aggie. I've known Father Cleary for a long time. He never, ever call you Sister Mary Jackass. Sister Mary Jackass and I ain't gonna make it. Give her a break, Dad. Give her a break. Frank, she stands for everything I'm against. Catholics marrying non-Catholics. Women priests. Optional attendance at Sunday Mass. If, if she had her way, the Ten Commandments would be called the Ten Suggestions. Dad, Sister Agnes may be mildly outspoken, but she's been very effective working in disadvantaged neighborhoods. Now, this whole inner city mission is her idea. And she thought of it just to annoy me. <laughs> she thought of it to help people. She's a fine nun, Dan. Oh, a heck of a nun. Would you like me to tell you about the last time I saw her? No. Okay. Now, I was speaking at the City Athletic Club, and I was really rolling. I mean, the mayor was laughing so hard he was falling out of his chair. And Councilman Jennings, he was laughing so hard he was choking on his parsley. And I'm just getting to the punchline of my big joke. You know the one about the priest and the rabbi and the Protestant polo pony? That old clunker? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> when in she comes with a bunch of crazy dames waving picket signs demanding that women be allowed in the club. Can you believe it? Women? <laughs> Trust us on this, Dan. The diocese wants this place to work. Now, it's going to be a real social service center right in the poorest part of town. Frank, I'm a sensitive man. Now, do I look like the kind of a guy that should be working with bums and thugs and juvenile delinquents? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, you're getting a lucky break, Dan. You're going to be right there where the action is, right where the people are. By golly, <laughs> I only wish I could be there with you. By golly, I only wish you could be there without me. Frank, I don't know the first thing about poverty. I've been up in the suburbs running St. Anthony's for the last 15 years. And I might add, doing a very good job there. Well, exactly why you got the assignment, Dan. You're a great organizer, you're a, you're a terrific administrator, and you're the best fundraiser since Christopher Columbus. <laughs> well, well, that's true. I mean, I can't... And work. you're gonna put all these God-given talents to work at this new mission. It's a sneaky trick, Frank, bringing God into this. <laughs> No more discussion, Dan. I want you, the Archbishop wants you, and the project needs you. You're a gone goose, my friend. Friend? Oh, Frank, you could get me out of this if you really wanted to. No way, Dan. No way, Dan. <laughs> Frank, uh, you know, I happen to be very close to Hurricane Harry Hastings, the biggest Cadillac dealer in town, and I could get you a shot at a demo if I really want. How low can you sink? Seville with a vinyl top. Factory air. AM, FM radio. Stereo? 
quadraphonic. No, no, the decision is made, Dan. It's Sister Agnes and you, and that is that. Cadillac Seville with a vinyl top in the way of the exterior. Quadraphonic. Come in, sisters. Hello, Monsignor. Sister Lillian. Father. Sister Agnes. Nice to see you, Monsignor. And you've met Father Cleary. Oh, yes, yes. I believe the last time we met was at the uh, City Athletic Club. You were the one bellowing through the bullhorn. And you were the one knocking him dead with the priest, the rabbi, and the Protestant polo pony. <laughs> that old conker. <laughs> Uh, then there was the uh, Thanksgiving Day Parade. I was in the reviewing stand with the mayor and the archbishop. Oh, and you were there with them, Sister Agnes? Well, only in passing. Uh, she went by on the Planned Parenthood float. Hey, I was in my civvies and expressing a personal point of view. Well, how about expressing the church's point of view for a change? <clears throat> uh, perhaps we'd uh, better get at the matter at hand here. <laughs> here are the keys oh. to the mission, Sister. Here's a copy of the new lease. The address is there at 122 15th Street. Well, does it have to be that neighborhood? There's nothing there but muggers and street walkers, addicts, pushers, drunks. Everything I ever wanted. <laughs> Sister Agnes, I don't think you realize the difficulty in dealing with those people. I mean, most of them have spent time in jail. So? I've been in the slammer myself. What? Well, let me explain. You see, Bruno stole this motorcycle. Bruno? Who, who is Bruno? Well, he was my old man. Did you hear that? Her father was a motorcycle thief? Oh, no, no. Bruno's the guy I used to live with. Oh. The guy you used to what with? Before I became a nun. Well, then where were you then? The roller derby? Oh, come on, Father. Open up your mind. Open up my mind? Listen, the trouble with you is that you've OD'd on affluence. You're too classy. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> Sister, I think you would be well advised to either get back to teaching. Wonderful chemistry, Monsignor. If this works out, it'll be a miracle. It's perfect. Perfect? Moses led his people out of better places than this. Hey, what do you think we should name this place? I don't know. Who's the patron saint of dumb ideas? Uh-oh, did you hear that? I wonder what's back there. Probably a 50-pound rat. doing here? What are you doing here? This is my place, man. Buzz off. <laughs> Buzz off? We just took out a lease on the place. Well, you better tear up your lease, man, because I ain't looking for no roommates. <laughs> Willie? Hey, don't call me Willie, man. We ain't on a first name basis. Uh, let me handle this. Now, uh, look, little girl. If you ain't out of here, by the time I count to three, I'm gonna cut you both. Bye. <laughs> Now, look, Willie, give me the knife. You want it, you got it. How'd you take my knife away? How did you take her knife away? I didn't take it away. She gave it to me. I don't think you should. Now, I'm going to give it to you. You ain't going to do nothing to me. Oh, yeah? Why? Because I'm a kid, and I'm a girl, and I got all that going for me. <laughs> You keep talking to me like that, young lady, and you'll have a good swift kick in the keister going for you, too. <laughs> Even though I don't know the old take-away-the-knife trick. Well, there's nothing to it, Father, but you gotta be quick. Hey, you have got some move there, sister. Sister, how did you know she was a nun? You're a nun. <laughs> a nun? Where'd you learn karate? It's not karate. It's Aikido. A nun with a black belt and blue jeans. <laughs> and she's out of sight. Don't I wish. I'm Sister Agnes, and this is Father Cleary. We're leasing this building. Well, welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> oh. I'm Jerome Rockefeller. Rockefeller? Oh, you're not... Uh... I'm sure it's a different family. 
No, no, there's no relation. You see, I changed my name. Why? I didn't like the sound of Leroy Rockefeller. <laughs> hey, yo. What kind of game you in? Game? We're opening a mission. A Catholic mission. But people don't have to be Catholic to come in. As long as they're Catholic when they go out. <laughs> Now, if you're here to open a mission uh, and you're here to help people, maybe you can start by keeping an eye on Wilhelmina. The name's Willie Leroy. Leroy? I'll pretend I didn't hear that, shorty. What do you mean, pretend? You didn't hear it. He ain't heard nothing since he was 16. D Willie. He's deaf. You mean he can't hear? That's usually what deaf means, Father. <laughs> but he was just talking to us. Oh, I read lips, Rev. Oh. Well, I think it's very, very admirable. Hey, 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 cool it, Rev. I am deaf, not stupid. <laughs> hey, uh, you gonna let Willie keep hanging out here? Hang out here? Don't you have a home? <laughs> Who needs a home? I got my gang. A gang of what? Barbie dolls? <laughs> Look, you and your gang can still hang out here. Sister Agnes, this is a mission, not Camp Winnemucca. <laughs> Come on, Willie, why don't you show me around the rest of this place? Hey, what's back there? Come on, I'll show you. Hey, Red. What? I have got to split. <laughs> hey, Jerome. Hey, Jerome. What am I yelling? <laughs> I'm, uh, Jerome, I want to show you something. I had the opportunity to speak to a group of deaf Catholics a few years ago, and I learned this in sign language. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, okay. There's a priest and a rabbi. <laughs> Yeah. A Protestant? Yeah. Polo? Pony? Polo <laughs> turkey? Man, give me a break. <laughs> hey, Aggie, where do you want this stuff? Oh, Barney, put that back there. Hold it. What was that all about? Oh, he's the photographer from the Morning Herald. Father Cleary sent him down to get some pictures on the mission. Hey, lady. Is everything all right? My cocoa has lumps in it. That's vegetable soup. Oh. Oh, Tom, wait a minute. Here's the address of that place I told you about, the runaway hotline. Thanks, Aggie. Now call your folks. You promised. You got it. Oh, hi, Father Cleary. Don't hi, Father Cleary, me. <laughs> Look at these bills. Sister Agnes, you're spending too much money. Father, this is a mission the Lord will provide. Oh, then get me his address and I'll forward these to him. <laughs> we need things. I need more cocoa. <laughs> Sister Agnes, this man is drunk. Well, I hope so. Or else I spent the last 20 years working on a speech impediment. Aggie. Hey, Willie, hi. Aggie, I need your help. Well, what's the matter? Hey, you, come here. I want to talk to you. Hey, buddy, get your hands off her. Look, you better stay out of this, sweetheart. What? <laughs> One false move and you'll be singing soprano. Willie, call the police. Police! Boy, that was fast. Get your foot off, Detective Kowalski. Detective? Detective? <laughs> All right, the three of you up against the bar. Come on, be back and spread it. Listen, what's going on here? I'm Father Cleary. Yeah, and I'm John the Baptist. <laughs> you know this girl? Yeah, why? She just delivered some Coke to a guy. Well, so what? Uh, did he order Pepsi? <laughs> Cocaine, wise guy. Now up against the bar. We got the ringleaders, Jack. And I got a great story. Oh, boy. 
You really did it this time, Sister Mary Jackass. <laughs> 25 years from the priesthood and I wind up getting busted on Skid Row with a till of the nun. I didn't know he was a cop. They've dropped the charges. Why don't you? Well, I haven't dropped the humiliation. You know what they're calling me at the chancery? The junkie priest. <laughs> No, oh, that's what they're calling you in the Herald. I think at the Chancery, they're calling you Cocaine Cleary. Oh, that's terrific. That's just terrific. Now I've got two habits to kick. <laughs> and Father Collins from St. Kevin's called this morning to congratulate me. For what? Giving new meaning to the term High Mass. <laughs> There's been no real harm done, Father. Willie didn't even know what was in the package. Somebody gave her five bucks to deliver it. Look, I got her released in our custody. Well, that's just great. You be sure and say goodbye to Willie for me because I'm resigning from the mission. Resigning? What do you mean, resigning? Don't you see how well the mission's working? People are coming to us with their problems and we're helping. We're a hit. No, you're a hit. I quit. But you can't quit. If you quit now, the diocese will probably close us down. And if I don't quit, I'm going to be up on a nun slaughter charge. <laughs> it's over, Sister Agnes. It's over. Are you saying the mission's not important? No, I didn't say that. Of course it's important. Then it's me. Yep. Well, wait, wait a minute. If I weren't here, would you stay? Well, I... I uh, yes or no? Yes, I would. Okay, you got it. I quit. Do you mean that? Yeah, I do. Well, that certainly changes things. I'll go down and talk this over with the Monsignor. Bye, Sister Lillian. Damn, I wish I could swear. Thank you. Oh, Lily and I really did it this time, didn't I? Well, you've done better. I gotta take a walk. Hi, everybody. Have a nice day. If it ain't the Reverend me. Where you been? Down at the playground loosening swings. Well, thank you very much for warming up my audience for me, Sister Lillian. How come you fired Aggie? I didn't fire her. She quit. Besides, we'll get another nun, right, Lillian? I'll have one delivered in the morning. I'll call Rent a nun. We don't want another nun. It's that nun or no nun. Look, what's important here is the mission, and we've still got that. That's what you think. You ain't got me or my gang. And I'll tell the rest of the neighborhood. Uh, before I leave, Red, I like to say... <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? Are you kidding? I couldn't repeat that to a priest. <laughs> But it goes double for me. Lillian, what's the matter with those kids? Aggie, she means a lot to them. Well, she means a lot. What about me? Well, I suppose there's a certain respect. Respect? Respect is for Presbyterians. <laughs> I want emotion, warmth. I want love. Well, you're asking an awful lot there, Dan. Well, why? I've been down here for three weeks, leading prayers, giving advice, making cocoa. I even got arrested. What do they want me to do, walk on water? It worked once. <laughs> real cute, Lily, real cute. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know you were here. I just came by to pick up my stuff. Well, come in, Sister Lillian and I were just talking about ways to get noticed at the beach. 
Uh, we're having vegetable soup tomorrow. I'll go buy the carrot. <laughs> I guess that's Sister Lillian's way of leaving us alone. Well, I'll just get my stuff and split. Split? Sister Agnes, what have you got against the English language? Oh. Well, then, um, I'll be retrieving my possessions and vacating the premises momentarily. How's that, Grandpa? Much better. Thank you, Father Cleary. Goodbye. Three, four, five. How many more steps before you turn and say, I want to get something off my chest? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, I guess I was wrong. You bet you were wrong. I do want to get something off my chest. Look, you better take good care of this place because it could mean a whole lot to a whole lot of people. Old people and winos and hookers. Young kids like Willie who got a lot of ways to go. Most of them wrong. This place could mean the difference for people like that. I know because ten years ago I was Willie. And man, I did it all. I had me some wild times. When I got back to the church, it took four priests to hear my first confession. Four? <laughs> well, almost four. <laughs> Why did you come back? Well, I was in Ghana until I met this dynamite nun who grabbed me by the socks and straightened me out. This place can do the same for Willie. Look, I'm sorry I decked that cop. And I'm sorry I got you busted. And I'm even sorry I put down your Protestant polo pony joke. You mean you liked it? I didn't say that. Is that it? No, one more thing. Look, you're good at what you do, but you can't do it alone. So you better get somebody good in here to help you, because there's a lot riding on this. Are you through? Yeah. Then it's my turn. First of all, Sister Agnes, I envy you your times. When it came to Wild Oats, I only had time to sow a couple. But I remember them both. <laughs> Fondly. <laughs> See, for me, it was uh, four years at Notre Dame, grabbed the old sheepskin, and right into the seminary. And I am a very good priest. But I'll be damned if I'm going to apologize to you or anybody else for the way I operate. You see, Sister Agnes, the Lord works both sides of the street, uptown and downtown. Now, the way I see it, what this place needs is a good administrator with strong management and tight controls. and a five-foot, five-inch nun who talks like Richard Pryor and cooks like Sara Lee and fights like the six million dollar man. You know where I can find one? Partner? Thank you, Father. I knew you'd fold. Fold? We're going to be terrific together. Fold? Well, you did, didn't you? No, not at all. I just thought we should start off as friends. Of course, we'll have our occasional disagreements. No, we won't. Yeah, we won't. I said no, we won't. And I said yes, we will. And I want to know what you meant by fold. You know, you fold. You can fold. agree with some people who see a bunch of black fold and a bunch of In the beginning was videotaped before a studio audience. <laughs>